Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're enjoying the summertime. I am definitely enjoying in the Netherlands. The weather is amazing. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying as well. In today's video, I'm going to show you this summery, bronzy, vibey eye makeup look. Um, it's a cut crease, which I love to do. Um, I hope you guys are going to enjoy. The first thing I want to do is use the Rare Beauty Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm going to use this all over the eyelid. This is actually a really nice eyeshadow primer, especially if you have more drier skin. I personally really love the MAC Cosmetics Pain Pot in the color Soft Ochre. But that one is a little bit more on the dry side. So if you feel like that one is too dry, you might really like this one. It's a little bit more hydrating on the skin. So then I use some brow gel and I set my eyelid using a little bit of powder. And I will be using this palette today which is from Natasha Denona it's one of her latest palettes she has launched and we're gonna do a golden look today so I'm gonna start with this color and I'm gonna bronze this all the way in my crease it's gonna be the transition shade so I'm gonna apply quite a lot of this color to really like make sure that this color is really on there if that makes sense so I'm gonna blend my brush back and forth all the way in my crease I'm going for a round shaped cut crease today instead of like um, kind of like a cat eye shaped cut crease, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna like focus with this eyeshadow also in the outer portion of the eyelid, which you can see me do right now. Um, so I'm just blending it all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner and also making circular motions around the outer portion of the eyelid. And I just keep adding more of this color until I'm happy with how it looks. Um, I always like to start with a little bit and I just gradually build it up and build it up. Um, also, if I have never used a palette before, this is also a more of like a safe way to do it because you never know how the eyeshadow blends out. Oh, so now next I'm going to go in with this color to warm it up even more. Um, this color looks kind of similar, but it's just a little bit darker and I believe it's a little bit more orangey. So I'm going to do the, t the same thing, uh, blend this all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner and also blend this in the outer portion of the eyelids. And when I say outer portion, I just mean like the outer part, like where you normally that area where you would apply your wink liner, if that makes sense. I don't really know how you guys would call this area. Um, I always call it this way, but maybe I'm saying it wrong, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just keep adding more and more eyeshadow. So in the Netherlands, the weather is actually super nice. I do have to say with a baby, it's really hard because in the Netherlands, like, there are some houses that have air conditioning, but I feel like in the United States, it's more common for houses to have it. Um, so his room actually gets super hot, my, my son's room. Um, and I feel like... He doesn't really like that it's so hot over there. Um, but it's hard to cool it down. Even though when I put the window open, it still gets really hot again. And he's like in a phase right now where he wakes up very often. So I lay him down next to me in bed. Um, my partner will sleep downstairs. And then I will lay in bed together with my son. Um, because it's really hot, I don't need any blankets and all of that. And I have like this these pillows that I put around him so he can't fall off the bed um, I do it in a safe way don't worry um, but it's hard because it's hot <laughs> so it's best to just like put him in his diaper only but he really likes uh, to have something around him um, I feel like maybe it's because when he's like naked with his legs and stuff he can feel all like the senses of things touching him and he will wake up more earlier so he does need something around him so we have this sleeping bag which is like a summer sleeping bag which is really thin and that works but yeah i do feel like he doesn't really like the summer so a part of me wants fall time to come so it gets a little bit cooler in the house but also I want time to slow down because he's growing up so quick. He's almost seven months and oh my God, time really goes so quick. I really want another baby in the future to do it all over because I feel like with your first baby, everything goes so quick. You're so like in the middle of learning everything that time goes way too quick. And I feel like if I would ever be blessed to have another baby i feel like i can live more in the moment because i already know like the basic things but maybe that's not true but that's just kind of how i feel but sorry i'm talking too much i will <laughs> tell you guys what i'm doing so i used the concealer and now i'm gonna create a ombre going from light to 
um, a little bit darker using this shimmer color in the center of the lid which is so stunning i always feel like natasha denona palettes are so beautiful like if you ever search for like a palette for your bridal makeup or just like your ever everyday glam palettes she has the best palettes they're all so stunning they are a little bit pricey and i'm sure there are palettes that are just as good but less expensive definitely but regardless of that if you do get one of them they are beautiful that's for sure so now i'm going to use this color with a wet brush and i'm going to use this to create my wing no not my wing liner my eyeliner so i'm just going to use this to create a line above the lash line and because i use a wet brush the eyeshadow gets a little bit darker and this way i can use it for my eyeliner even though it's just eyeshadow i love this trick i've been doing it uh, quite often on my channel and it's just really nice if you want to like use a pencil that goes really well with the look but you don't have it you can just use some eyeshadow instead and you have the perfect eyeliner that goes together with your eye look then now i'm going to go in with this pencil from charlotte tilbury it has two sides and i'm going to use that copper side um, which goes really well with the eyeshadows it kind of has that same warmish undertone which looks so good so i'm going to pop this in the waterline and my eyes are kind of bluish gray greenish it kind of depends on the weather and the lighting <laughs> um, but these shades will really pop my eye color really nice but i feel like colors like this it will look good on any eye color it will look good with green eyes blue eyes brown eyes gray eyes um maybe not every skin tone but i think it will look beautiful on every eye color i'm not sure let me know if you prefer these type of colors or if you feel like it doesn't look good on you i'm really curious to know but yeah, now I'm blending out the lower lash line using that color that, um, that I used in my crease earlier as well. Now it's time to curl the lashes because it's time for mascara already. Um, I feel like I'm talking so much during this video, but maybe you guys like when I give you guys updates on my life. Um, but yeah, so I'm curling the lashes and I'm going in with the Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara, which I really like. Um, I always tell you guys this, but my upper lashes are not the best, so I'm not really focused on that too much um, because I will go in with false lashes, but my lower lashes I always try to make as long as possible, so they really go kind of like hand in hand with the fake lashes. I do feel like I have quite long lower lashes compared to my upper lashes. I don't know why that is, but I use these Sigma Whimsical Lashes. You can't see them in the packaging because... I already had them on my eyes but i just wanted to show you the name and the packaging and these lashes are so pretty they're quite dramatic but i think it goes really well with today's eye look i mean they're not the most dramatic lashes but also definitely not the most natural ones they're kind of like in between but i think they're really beautiful and i mean this is more like a glam look because of the cut crease so i mean let's go for some glam lashes as well so i'm popping on these lashes let me know if you guys want an updated how to apply lashes video um for me i have been doing lashes so often for me it's routine i don't even think about it too much but if you want a updated version where i teach you guys how to do it let me know but yeah this is the final result i really hope you guys like how it turned out i think it's so beautiful for a bridal makeup and you can wear this all year round you can also wear this in winter time fall time it doesn't really matter but i think it's so beautiful for a sunny summer day like when it's golden hour it's gonna look so stunning but let me know if you like the look if you're gonna try it out um, i hope you guys all enjoyed watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy that's really helpful my youtube channel isn't doing very well lately anymore which is so sad so if you want to help me don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it's really appreciated and i hope to see you in my next video bye guys